dulcissimo in fondo. Those old Romans, they knew what they were talking about. Sweet dessert at the end of a meal. And this is what we're going to do now. Some crepes, delicious, simple crepes. And every culture has some rendition of them. They're easy to make. You can make them the last minute. You can make it with every, any flour also. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to combine regular white flour and I'm going to make some flour out of oats. So some oat flour. You can make barley flour like this. You can make your own flour just about of any grain that you want to use. And you keep on pulsating. It doesn't take long until you get it to this uh, texture. It's a little grainy, but it's not. It's like little nuts, uh, little pieces of nuts in your crepes. So let's mix the regular flour and the oat flour. Eggs, pinch of salt, some vanilla, simple water, lemon rind, okay, sugar, the dry ingredient. What's important is that you get the flour and the liquid ingredients homogenized and you add some melted butter. You need a little bit of sort of softness in there and the butter will do the trick. A nonstick pan from eight to 10 inch, I think gives you a nice size of the crepe. Good olive oil, just a little bit. You don't need a lot, it's nonstick as it is. And you know, the tradition says that the first one never comes out. I don't know about that, we'll see. So I would say that maybe, well, let me try to go with a full one. It's nice and hot. Okay. So what I do is that I start at one end and kind of let it swivel all around. You see, I've noticed I'm putting just a little bit because I don't want to make it too thick. So here it is. I have a little bit left over, but you know, that's what makes it thicker. And you just let it fry away have a dish ready where you got, it's gonna land. And as you go on, you know, you need to work with the temperature. The pan gets hotter and hotter, so you need to lower it a little bit, but you do want a nice crust on each side. When you shake the pan and it's kind of moving, shaking in there, that means that it has solidified, that it has detached. Okay, nice crisp, you just flip it over and you let it get crisp on the other side. And you just slide it right out, just like that. I'm gonna make a couple of more and then we're gonna fill them up with delicious gooey stuff. So here we are, a nice pile, uh, fried, ready to be stuffed. What am I gonna stuff them with? Well, jam, I love jam tradition, so apricot, this is uh, the blackberry jam, which is delicious, but also chocolate, and especially if it has some nuts in there, like Nutella, delicious. So let's begin with the jam, at least one of each in the middle. And you just spread it, and you don't have to do a lot of spreading. And you can just fold it like a handkerchief, let's see, and just put it like that. Let's do one with the apricot jam. Again, just in the middle. Fold it. Aha, like a handkerchief. So let's try one with the Nutella. Mm -mm. Just kind of spread it lightly. You don't have to spread it to all end because once you begin to eat it, it sort of spreads all over. And this one, I'm gonna roll it. We used to do a lot of rolling like that. Now I have to make one for myself. And I think I'm gonna do the Nutella one. Mm -hmm. And I will roll it, roll it, roll it like that. 
and a presentation for myself just like that. A nice dollop, some toasted walnuts right on top. Oh, do, 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 a little drizzle of Nutella is always good. Just like that. Okay. Ha. Ah. So let's go right to the heart of it. With a toasted walnut and, mm. This is heaven. It is with my childhood. There's so many things to me and to my family, a whole lifetime. So I want to share with you, and I want to invite you to Tia Tavola Mangiare. Do come. <laughs>